Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 10. Now remember, when we're checking for divisibility, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. In the case of this video, we're going to go through four examples here and see if they're divisible by 10 based on the rule at the top of the screen. So if a number ends in a zero, it's divisible by 10. Let's go through our examples here. So for number one, we have 328,890. So does that number end in a zero? Yes, so it means that that number is divisible by 10. On to number two, 57,021. Does that number end in a zero? No, so it's not divisible by 10. Number three, 790,830. Ends in a zero, that means it's divisible by 10. Lastly, 879,342,400. Does it end in a zero? Yes, therefore divisible by 10. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rule for 10. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.